it's been tremendous, the announcement last week from Rita, the money coming to the industry, but from the Sire States Board point of view, uh, we were in a pretty unique position going into lockdown. Uh, we had races we'd collected payments from uh, owners and breeders for that we were obliged to run. So uh, we've had to reallocate those races. The dates have been set, they were announced uh, about a month ago. We're still waiting this week on the final confirmation of those race dates, but they should go ahead. And we're at a stage now where we can uh, put dollars to those races. And I'm pleased to say, and it's a, it's a great delight for the board to say that from what we were gonna race in uh, April and May, we're now racing in the spring. So we've got a, a million dollars going into the spring. So uh, that's a, a superb result and we're delighted with the outcome. A million dollars seems a lot of money. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a real result for you, I guess. Oh, it is. Uh, look, the Sire Stakes is funded from uh, a number of positions. We get tremendous support from the studs and from the breeders, from the owners, sponsors, and it's about pulling all those things together and it's finally happened. Uh, look, there'll be some small cutback. I think the heats, we're looking at about a 10% drop from 22 to 20 and all of Group 1 finals will be either 100 or above, and in most cases above. The Group 2s are at 50,000, and the Harness Millions, uh, the big ones, unchanged, because there's no group funding goes into those, so the Harness Million races will still race for the 200, 150, and 75,000 respectively. So what does it mean for the Colts and the Phillies, you know, who usually race on New Zealand Cup Day or Auckland Cup Day? Well, that's going into the scheduled races next year and we're still waiting for a fundi, funding policy on those, but it should be positive after the news that we had from Rita. Uh, but I'm picking there will be some cut back to those fundings. That, that's how they've got to that number. We're still very, very confident and I believe uh, Sire Stakes will be, I'd say with those two races, one hundred and fifty thousand dollars on Cup Day for the Colts, and one hundred and twenty-five, hundred and thirty thousand dollars for the Phillies at Auckland on New Year's Eve, and I think we can maintain those throughout the year for for the rest of the scheduled races. As I said, Harness Millions doesn't change. One thing that has come from it all with this late announcement is that the board has agreed today to. Um, carry on the late payment uh, for the July 1st foal nomination and yearling and three-year-old payments and they're going to waive the uh, the late fee penalty. So in effect you've got till July 15 now to make that payment uh, and anybody going to the yearling sales uh, with a horse this year, make sure you get them paid up for it because it's the most commercial thing you can do for your, your yearling. And just lastly, Bruce, obviously a big week for you. We're often seeing you with those two hats on, one for the sales, one for the side stakes, but you're retiring this week from New Zealand Bloodstock. Yeah, Dave, it's, it's a bit sad, um, but when I made the uh, decision uh, in the contract two years ago with New Zealand Bloodstock, this was what we set it up for, uh, for today. Um, I've had 36 years uh, working alongside Peter Lagan and the crew. It's been a wonderful time, but look, it's it's time to pass it on to our other guys. And New Zealand Bloodstock has a great team and and a lot to add to the sales. Um, we just recently ran a, a, the Gavel House sale online and it was a tremendous success. You know, 90. 8% clearance rate, unbelievable for an online sale. And now the announcement, and I think it's pretty much confirmed that we will have an online platform working live at the auction sales here in February. So that's gotta be a great boost to Southlanders buying in Auckland, Australians buying in New Zealand. So, you know, like uh, New Zealand Bloodstock's got a lot to offer. I've had a wonderful run with the yearling sales and the business and the industry.